to start preparing and planning for what the future holds. Now, it is difficult to predict, but you can still prepare your business, not by following trends, but by developing future scenarios. And that's a topic for a whole new masterclass I'll be doing uh, later on this year. But it does enable you to go beyond the expected next development of your categories and plan for radical changes. Let me give you some examples. Telecoms it used to be for communication. Most telecom companies today make more money by selling their geolocalization data than they actually do from selling communication services. The pharma industry have been forced or they have seen the opportunity to move simply from treating illness to maintaining wellness. And obviously, there's a much bigger market in wellness than there is in illness. Food companies have also been challenging the pharma industry because they are moving into nutraceuticals. We all know that food is also medicine and good food and bad food has a huge impact on our health. So by concentrating health benefits of certain foods, the food company is now challenging the pharma industry. The tobacco industry. The tobacco industry has reinvented itself as per personal pleasure systems with their e-cigarettes. Um, their products now, they don't heat, they heat tobacco, they don't burn tobacco. Therefore, most, if not all, carcinogens are removed. They are claimed to be healthier. And in fact, um, Andre Kalanzopoulos, at the time he was CEO of Philip Morris, many, many years ago, predicted a phase out of cigarettes. And that is what's happening today, at least in developing markets. And finally, alcohol. The alcohol industry is moving more and more to lower and non alcoholic drinks, trying to keep up with this interest in wellness and they clearly understood that whereas drinking is a social behavior most people no longer include getting drunk with sociability and therefore what they are looking for is a way to relax with little or no alcohol but still satisfying drinks and just to bring the point home I found this chart that I wanted to share with you from the music industry. And as you can see, over the years, it has gone from vinyl and eight track to cassette recorders, if you're old enough, you might remember them, to CDs, MP3 players, and now streaming. Imagine if you were in the music industry, the number of changes that you've seen over a lifetime. If you stayed in a career, you probably started in the 70s and 80s in vinyl, and today you're in paid streaming. So companies that are don't plan for changes will be forced to make changes or to go out of business, as the companies I mentioned earlier ended up doing. And we're getting evidence that companies are waking up 